Hey guys, what's up? This is Nain here from TechBarrick Solutions and today in this tutorial we will be talking about the Google search engine interface and some terms related to the Google search engine. The reason for making this video is first, youngsters and elderly people who are no new to Google and don't know about Google search engine, this video is for you guys. And second, it is to educate all the users who use Google search engine about the terms related with Google search engine so that in the near future when they are searching using Google they will be able to get precise results in a short amount of time so let's begin with our tutorial when you go to google.com you will be automatically redirected to your country based Google website and you can see I have been redirected to Google India and uh, in the URL bar it will be google.co.in on the top we have a black bar which has some of the services which Google provides like this is the Google Plus then we have the web search which I am currently using third we have the images that's Google images search I can search for anything on Google Maps we have the Google Play Store YouTube which is the largest library of videos then we have Google News Gmail Google Docs, Google Calendar, then in the more section we have Orkut Translate, that's Google Translate, which allows you to translate from almost any language to any other language. Then we have Google, bo uh, Google Books, we have the Google Blogger, that is nothing but free blogging service provided by Google. This is Google Reader, which is for RSS feeds. Photos, I think, is related to Picasa, and in even more, when you click, you will get all the products and services which Google provides. Now coming back to the Google main page, on the top we also have a sign in button so you can sign in to your Google account if you want to and if you are on a country based Google web page as you can see I am on Google India at the bottom accordingly it will also show me that Google is also offered in the particular languages and because I'm in India, there are a number of languages that are spoken in India and uh, the national language is Hindi so it shows me all the languages in which Google is offered I can just click on any one of this language and it will show me Google search results in that particular language at the bottom we have some of the pages related to advertising programs if I want to advertise on Google then I can click on this link if I have some business solutions then I can go for this link then we have the privacy and terms we have Google Plus we have about Google and at the end we have google.com now let's say you are on country based website and you want to go to directly google.com you don't want a country based website you can click on this link and you can see I am on google.com so that's basically the main page of Google now it's time for searching something on Google let's say I want to search for MacBook Pro and when I search for MacBook Pro I have made a spelling mistake I know that and the word that I have searched for is MacBook Pro now Google is so smart that it will automatically show me results for the right word that I want that I wanted to search for it says that it is showing results for MacBook Pro however if MacBook was the right word then there is always an option at the bottom which says search instead for MacBook Pro. So let's say I click on it and I know now that this is the wrong spelling and Google will always do a spell check whenever I search and it will ask me did I mean something like this and yes I actually meant MacBook Pro. So that was two features of Google search engine which help you while you're searching for something on Google. Now the black navigation bar stays on the top whenever you're searching and you have the Google logo with a search bar and the search button and also the sign in button on the top. What gets added is the left sidebar with some links to Google services and there's a more button which allows you to get more Google services links and if you click on the fewer button it will decrease the number of Google services that it will show and on the right we also have a settings button we will come to that settings part a bit later but on the left sidebar we also have a particular location based search that is I can search on my particular location 
if I click or search for my location, I set my location as Mumbai, it will show me web pages which are related to Mumbai and from shops where I can buy that particular product or whatever that particular word is related to my particular location. Let's say if I search for watch, it will show me, it might show me vendors who actually sell watches near Mumbai, something like that when I set my particular location. So that's some good feature and uh, on the left side bar we also have search results which include the whole web. I want search results from all over the world or I want search results only from pages which are India based and when I click on that it will give me only the Apple India website. You can see it does not give me apple.com. It is giving me the Apple India website. I can also search based on the web pages which have been updated in the past hour or which have been added in the past 24 hours or the past week or the past month or I can set my custom range according to the date format and they have also provided the date format at the bottom and then I can also get search results from sites which have images and when I click on that you can see it shows me image results for MacBook Pro and also it gives me image it also gives me web results from only those websites which have images of the macbook pro i can search on dictionary point of view whereby it will give me the meaning of macbook pro or the word i searched for on reading level point of view which is how readable is the content on a particular website depending on that google will provide me the search results and you can see the macbook pro word which i have searched for contains web results which have intermediate needing level reading level and advanced le reading level is less than one person and basic re basic reading level is 18 percent so that's something cool and i can also have search results from foreign web pages which have been translated suppose there was a spanish web page which contained macbook pro which got translated into my language that is english I can get web results from those particular pages also. I can get verbatim web page results and I can also reset all my settings. That is the web search results settings. At the bottom, Google provides me searches related to my word. Since I searched for MacBook Pro, it will show me searches related to MacBook Pro. And you can see the first related search is MacBook Pro price in India. And definitely when I'm searching for a laptop, I might be searching for its review, its specifications, its competitors like the MacBook Pro versus MacBook Air, or I might be searching for the price of that particular product. So that's some good search uh, related searches which Google provides at the bottom. If you notice next to the search, we also have two arrows. And this is nothing but it gives us the preview of the web page which you want to search for. Let's say I was I wanted to visit this web page but I just wanted to preview it. So if I click on that particular arrow, it will give me a preview of the of that particular web page. And it will also mark all those red spots where uh, the word that I have searched for is highlight highlighted. The word that I have searched for will get highlighted in those red boxes. You can see and it will also tell me what the text is. It says the all new MacBook Pro is built around flash storage. So that is the text that is written over there. So this is how I can get relevant search results. And then at the bottom we have Google written with number of O's and each O has a particular web page number uh, associated with it. Let's say if I click on the fifth web page, it will take me to the fifth page of web results. And on the top you can see it shows me page 5 and it also shows me approximately the total number of results which Google has searched for, which Google has received uh, from this particular word search and it also tells me the time it took to search that is 0.27 seconds. At the bottom going back we have the previous and the next button which takes us to the previous web page and the next web page. Then we have advanced search settings. Let's say if I want to do perform much precise search on Google search engine, I can use the advanced search or you could 
get some search help on how to perform search on Google search engine you can provide feedback to Google you can again go to google.com if you are on a country based Google website you can go to Google home that's going to be a country based Google web page and then these are the same links which were there on the Google main page talking about the settings part we have settings related to our search we have advanced search settings which is nothing but the advanced search which we found at the bottom we also have web history now web history is if you want to delete the web history or disable customized web search activity uh, you can click on that particular tag and you can delete all your web history or pause your web history again you can get search help if you want to let's go to search settings now in search settings first is safe, uh, safe search filters which prevent explicit sexual content if you are searching for something uh, let's say uh, you have kids and you don't want them to get exposed to explicit sexual content then you can make your search uh, safe filters to strict and let me tell you that this will include web pages images and videos this will restrict all those pornography pages and other adult content pages from web pages images image search and video search however this will not guarantee a complete safe search uh, there might be certain web pages which might still come uh, on searching something so google is not perfect it is trying to become perfect so please help google if you find such such kind of thing and you can even log this safe search that is keep it permanent you can change this settings anytime by default it is on moderate which involves only image search and video search you can have google instant predictions now google instant is a feature whereby while you're typing google will give you the search results for the word as and when you type so that's something really cool you can set the settings for that particular thing you can also set settings for the number of results which are shown per page let's say i want 100 results per page however this will make my web page loading slower because more number of much more content has to be loaded on the web page and there is other settings for where you want to open the results whether you want to open in a new window or you want to open in a new tab or something like that you can block web pages from your search results or you could block websites from your search results and again you can clear pause or delete your web history by signing in into your google account so that's something about the search settings and then we have the language settings you can set your default language you have location settings you can set your default location and that's basically the google search engine but i also talked about something that is terms related with google search so let's say i was searching for macbook pro now when i search for macbook pro you can see it shows me the title so first term is the title of the particular web page then we have the url just below the title and it also tells us which country is that particular url associated with and third we have the meta content which is nothing but the the small 150 character text from the website itself which will tell you on what that particular website is about so that is the basic terms of google search engine and we will come across more terms like this in the upcoming tutorials that's it thanks for watching the video guys please rate comment subscribe and visit techbarrick.com